uh, he found me um, on the slant. Man, great matchup. You know, he trusted me. Coaches trusted me, and I went out and made a play for the team. Kim? All right, Brooks. Now, on that, uh, Davis was saying it was actually a design run. Um, and how do you, in y'all going into game plan, stuff like that, finding out what mm -hmm. he's comfortable with, what you're comfortable with, and finding things that open up the offense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was more just like a coverage thing, you know, they pretty much load the box, you know, um, and it's a matchup outside, the QB like it, you know, he could take it, you know, it's an option, you know, but, um, you know, Davis, he trusted the process, you know, seeing what the defense gave him, and uh, he went out there and made a play, you know, so that was all I went to it. Nothing crazy at all. Chrissy? Hey, how have you seen um, Davis improve and grow from the time you guys got here until now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I've seen Davis grow a lot, man. You know, since we stepped foot um, here at um, working mini camp OTAs, man, you know, you, you just tell, you know, he's really stacking his days, you know, really trying to work on the things he, you know, need to improve on. You know, you can tell he's getting comfortable. You know, he's still growing. You know, everybody's still growing. You know, we see everybody's still getting better as a unit. You know, um, still got two games left. You know, you see how the season goes. Got to finish. Aaron Wilson. Hey, good morning, Nico. Congrats on your touchdown. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. What are some things that you've learned this year about how to play the position and how much has Robert Prince been mm -hmm. a teacher for you to kind of show you some of the nuances of the position? What are some specifics that you're picking up? Uh, man, a lot, a lot. Uh, just coming, you know, from college to NFL, man, you know, it's a whole different, a whole different league, a whole different, you know, everybody's good, you know, so I'm glad I got, you know, RP. You know, he's my coach. I'm um, glad that I got, you know, the vets, you know, in our room. You know, Conley, Danny, Chris, um, Chris Moore, you know, I appreciate them for getting me ready, you know, for this opportunity. And, um, you know, so when it came up and my time came, you know, they they trusted me, you know, because they always been there for me, you know, whatever questions I have, you know, they always, you know, there to, you know, help me out, you know. Um, and I appreciate them a lot, you know, being there in my corner and, um, you know, so I'm just, I'm just glad that I have them, you know, in our room together, man. We're still growing as a unit. Um, we still getting better. And, Nico, now that you got the touchdown in your belt, how hungry are you to have that feeling a bunch more times? Thank oh, you. man, I'm, I'm real hungry for it, man. It was a great feeling. You know, I want to continue feeling that feeling. But, again, I'm still, you know, improving to get better. You know, I'm um, still growing, still working on my game, and still trying to find ways, you know, to, you know, help out, you know, our team. Mark? Nico, have you seen the video of the touchdown catch? And is that the kind of thing you're going to hang on to for a while? Oh, yeah, 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 sir. Yes, I've seen the video, man. It's, it's a great feeling, man. First NFL touchdown, you know, in the NFL, man. That's, that's everybody's dream. You know, um, it came at the right time. Perfect opportunity, man. And it was a great, great team victory, man. You know, um, in, the, in the end zone, celebrating with your teammates, man. There's no better feeling. Did your phone blow up afterwards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It did, you know. But it was, it was more as my family, man, just telling me congrats. Proud of me, man. Just keep going. Keep stacking. Keep getting better. Cool. Keep going. Nico, <laughs> not take anything away from your touchdown, but also seeing Brevin Jordan really step up yeah. as coming in the tight end role. When you mm -hmm. look at him and yourself both being rookies and your development with Davis, does that give you a boost of confidence of where you guys are moving forward towards? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, Brev, he's, he's getting better, man. You know, we all learning. You know, we all, you know, getting that opportunity, you know, so. You know, whenever our chance come, you know, we're going we gonna to take advantage of it, you know. But um, the process, you know, it's, it's a process, you know. It's, you got a lot, a lot of learning to do, you know, learning, you know, coverages and things like that, you know. And got to build our teammates' trust and our coaches' trust, you know. So it was just an opportunity, you know, whenever opportunity come, man, you know, we just take advantage of it, you know. But, you know, I'm proud of Braille, you know, the rookie class, you know, what what are we doing? But, you know, we still still growing, you know. We still got a lot of, lot of improvement to do. John? Nico, even though you're a rookie, the veterans are dealing with COVID-19 too, this um, unprecedented situation. What's it like for a player to come to work every day, not mm -hmm. knowing who's going to be in a room and who's mm -hmm. going to test positive and yeah. who's going to be back? Yeah, you just, you just got to stay ready, you know, you just, because, you know, times like this, you just never know, you know, um, guys, you know, that's, that's starting, you know, you just got to be ready because they might go down next man up. You know, you don't want to have, you know, you have your opportunity come and you're not ready. You know, that's one thing you don't want to do. You know, so I feel like, you know, the best went down. So it meant next man up, you know. Um, 
camp, you know, OTA behind them or, you know, anybody, you know, helping me just out, you know, so we can be ready for this opportunity and the opportunity came, you know, so we came out there ready to play. Last one for Brooks. And Nico, there was a time when we were um, earlier in the year when we were asking Davis Mills about, uh, you know, whether to go for it, not to go for it. He said, I, I think I have to make a few more plays before I can start, you know, uh, ch uh, talking about what we can do. Wait, Just, wait. That, no, he said uh, he had to make a few more plays before he, he felt like he could have that voice with, uh, you know, coaches and decisions on I the field. You. I got how, you. Mu how, how much recently have you seen him as a quarterback, as a leader? Do you feel like he's earned that? Yet, mm -hmm. have you seen him use that yet as a, as a quarterback in his command? Oh, you know, he's, yeah, he's still he's still learning, man. He's still learning, still getting comfortable, man. You know, he's just he's calm and collected. You know, he just he stay calm. You know, he's the same person. You know, even if he make a bad play, good play. You know, he calm, level headed, man. You know, he's humble, man. And, um, and Davis, man, he's the sky's the limit for him, for sure, for sure. You know, I want to see him reach it, but you know, he's a great guy, man. Great dude, I'm proud of him. Sure. Are there ways you see that um, on the field, in the huddle? I mean, what's, what is it that you... Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you see him, you see him just, you know, just making the offense, you know, slow down a little bit, calming down everybody, you know, see, and you just making everybody, you know, take a deep breath, you know, just calm down, and let's go, you know, the next play, you know, one play at a time, you know, he's talking to us in the huddle, you know, we listen to him, you know, and so we believe in him, and, you know, he, he's leading the way right now. Thanks, Nico. Appreciate it. Finally talked about Cully and the job he's done with you guys, considering all the circumstances with COVID-19. What do you think about the job Cully and the coaches have done steering you guys through an unprecedented situation? Yeah, they've done an awesome job, you know, getting guys ready. I mean, it, it was kind of a hectic week, but I mean, credit to everybody on the team. A lot of guys stepped up in a big way. A lot of guys got their kind of their first significant snaps of the season. And I thought a lot of those guys came up big. And that's really a credit to the coaches getting everybody ready. Aaron Wilson. Good morning, Charlie. Congrats on the win. Uh, Charlie, when you look at Davis and kind of the way he is in the huddle and the way he operates the offense, what changes have you seen from him since he first started and where he is now? Yeah, you know, he's, he's, always, he's always really seen kind of above his years. He never really felt like a rookie, but, you know, he's really taken strides. You know, he kind of really commands the huddle. You see that confidence in him. You see how he's kind of taking control of the offense and kind of being the leader that a quarterback really should be. Brooks? What was it about uh, the run game that you were able to get through yesterday? And, uh, you know, what was it like seeing it uh, work to its full extent? Yeah, I mean, the backs did an awesome job, first and foremost. I mean, they were they were running hard and they were running angry. But up front, we did a good job getting our hats on a hat. You know, we didn't have many communication issues. You know, everybody did a good job getting to their man. No kind of self-inflicted wounds on our part. Mark? Mark, you're what on. Was it like, I'm trying to make it work. Can you hear me, Charlie? Yes, I can. What was it like for you guys as a unit to make shift thrown together and it all came together against a, it's against a really good team? Yeah, I mean, that that's really something to be proud of. And that's something, you know, you'll look back in your playing career and that's one of the things that will stick out, you know. Group of guys, you know, we've all been practicing the whole year. And so it's fun to see a lot of guys get that opportunity to come together. And then when we had success, it was awesome. So really proud of the O-line. What was it like? Well, you, you touched on it a little. What was it like watching Rex explode behind you guys? Oh, that was awesome. I mean, you could just feel a burst of air, and then you'd see him getting up to the second level. And he, he was running hard yesterday, and he always does. So he did a great job. All right, all set. Thanks, Charlie. And what was it all like? Well, yeah, I had a couple in um, college. And it's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> it's the best feeling in the world. And to do it and when I did at the end of the game like that, it was special. I would I would have got down if it was a lot of people around me because I knew the game was over. But I ain't seen nobody, and I just seen a line. And I'm like, I got to put my head down and go because if I don't score, the guy's going to be on me. 
So I just read as fast as I could. What did you What did you think of the video when you looked at it? It's surreal. Like that's just crazy. I keep looking at it. Sometimes it, it come to me. Like people keep telling me about it, then I look at my phone. Somebody didn't mention me or something. That joke just crazy. Aaron Wilson. Hey, Tavier, congrats on the touchdown. Jonathan Owens was saying how you guys talk a lot about being Division Two guys and uh, being underdogs. Uh, what are those conversations like, and how much did that resonate with you for him to have a big game and for you to also play well and have your interception return? Thank you. For us. Like, we just waited. We came in together as rookies to Arizona. So me and him been knowing each other our last four years. I met him as one of my closest friends. But, like, we came in and we just told each other we're just going to wait on our opportunity wherever it's at. And four years later, we're both playing on the same team, starting on the same defense. So it's just crazy. We just got to keep it going. We got our opportunity. Got can't look back. Just keep getting better and better each and every week. And the sky's the limit for the both of us coming from D2. John? Javier, you guys did some serious damage to the Chargers playoff hopes. Now you got the 49ers and the Titans in the same situation. What what does it mean to you guys to be able to play a spoilers role? Well, we're just going out there just playing, trying to get wins. We're not worried about if they're playoff teams or not. We're just going out, trying to do our jobs and get the win each and every week, no matter the opponent. So we continue to do that. Sorry we're doing um, spoiling people <laughs> playoffs, but we're just trying to go out and win for the team and end on a high note. Brooks? You mentioned uh, going possibility of going down on your interception. Uh, Coley was talking about that yesterday, <laughs> I mean, what what was y'all's conversation on the sideline after the game since after that? <laughs> I came right up to him. I'm like, Coach, I would have went down, but it was nobody in front of me but a lineman. So I had to go score. He said, oh, yeah, you did. You did right. You did right. So <laughs> I was happy about that. I thought he was going to be on me, but he told me I did the right thing. So I was just happy I got Because you guys have been forcing so many turnovers all year and he and getting that touchdown. And what, what does that kind of add to what you guys as a group have done so much this year? that's all we've been talking about. Like, we're getting the ball a lot. We're getting the ball a whole lot. But we haven't gotten the end zone. And Lovey kept on telling us, someone got to get in the end zone. And I feel like it's going to be my guy in the nickel room. So he just kept saying it every week, and it just came true. And we talked about it right before the game. Like, when, during the game, right before that that play or whatever, the defense, we all huddled up like, let's get a turnover and score for the win. Like, let it be us or whatever, not the offense. Let it be us. And... I'm like, sure, let it be us then. And he threw it my way, and I just went and got it. Last one for John. Javier, you're having the best season of your career. What has clicked for you this season where you can be playing so well? I just learned the defense. I, I'm, I'm learning. I didn't learn the past three years, learning, like, concepts or whatnot. And I have a defensive coordinator that he put me in position to make plays. Like I said last week, he just put me in position. And I just go out there and try to make plays and feel like I'm back in college all over again. Just go out there, don't care about the opponent, just do my job and be around the ball. And that's all I'm doing this year, and I'm going to continue to do it as well. Thanks, Javier. All right, John. Thank you.